Apparently India have arrived at the moon. We're going to look at this historical footage, which is fresh off the press very shortly. But first I wanted to look at the flight profile of this lunar space mission from India. On the left we've got the globe Earth spinning in all its cartoon glory. And on the right we've got the moon there. According to this flight profile, the Indian spacecraft would have made, needed to make quite a few orbits around the globe Earth to enable it to get into its lunar transfer trajectory. And the problem is, there's no independent observations whatsoever of this Indian spaceship doing its loop-de-loop -loop around the globe Earth to get its momentum to put itself in its lunar transfer trajectory. None. I've been looking online. I found one bit of footage, and it came from a virtual telescope. You would have thought there'd be quite a few bits of footage showing this Indian spacecraft do its loop-de-loop -loop round the globe Earth to get its momentum to go to the moon. None. Like I say, just the one that came from a virtual telescope. That obviously doesn't cut it. It would seem the video I did last week regarding India's moon landing, basically I highlighted the previous mission, um, it would seem that video has touched a bit of a nerve with a few space fans from India. As we've got a few comments here. Top comment. It's just amazing that how your accent surpasses your minuscule grey matter in terms of relevance and quality. Sending congrats to your parents for Olsen, for the Olsen new species discovery. Tears of laughter. Okay, whatever. And then we got Yojo who's obviously a little bit upset about me narrating the Indian space pantomime. No Joe goes on to say, UK today is a third-rate power reminiscing in their colonial past. A bit rich for you to comment considering the UK has no space program. Mate, I think you're getting me a bit confused with some flag-waving Herbert. Nah, I don't wave flags and entertain the silliness that is that, okay? And I'm quite pleased that the UK is not participating in this space pantomime fraud directly. It is, I'm sad to say, indirectly. But I don't think the UK wants to get on the space pantomime scene directly for the obvious reason. What else we got? We got Om Singh here. I see you all on the 23rd of August. India on the moon. Foreign people in the bathroom. More in with laughter. And then Rom goes on to say, India is boss of the world. Try, try again. Final Isro win. 23rd of August. India on the moon. Laugh out loud. All you see moon land in India. India win. India win. Yeah, all right. I invite you to live streaming on the 23rd of August. So our mate Om Singh here is absolutely buzzing over the technology in which India uses, namely CB radios. <laughs> Bless him. And here's your evidence that India has arrived at the moon. It's ridiculous. Terrible footage accompanied by some music. No one saw this thing doing its loop-de-loop -loop round the globe Earth, getting itself in its trajectory to get here. But suddenly it's arrived here we got some music playing to sell this tosh. Oh dear. But look. The reason it's so jolty, they didn't have the technology to fake the reflections in the solar shields. And as a result, they had to feed us this jerk fest here. Because that was all they could fake. They couldn't fake it smoothly because they were unable to because of the technology. What a charade this is. Now, is that as bad as the, Jap the JAXA? moon uh, orbit 
from I think it was eleven years ago that I showed. Is that as bad? It's it's on an equal level there. I'd say it is, it is equally as bad. Look. That is terrible. And there is supposed proof that India has arrived at the moon. And when you look at it, it's horrendous footage, backed up the, by no observations of any loop-de-loops. And of course, we know it's just data and cartoons lapped up by naive individuals in the control room. Oh, dear.